Hi, I'm Matthew Cavalier, and welcome back to my channel, Moments with Matthew. Hi. Today I want to talk a little bit about meditation. And I know for a lot of people that's scary and it's a little too woo-woo and a little too, ah, uh, not my thing. But I want to talk about simple ways that you can meditate that really are going to help you both physically and mentally. Don't think of it as a spiritual or religious practice, although pretty much every spiritual and religious practice out there does have meditation as the backbone of the religion or spirituality. But think of it more from the mindset of how is this going to help my physical and mental health? Before we get started, please do click that like button and click the subscribe button as well as the bell so you know each time a new video comes out and I do appreciate all of your continued support on my channel. One of the things that I want you to think about is when was the last time you were in a stressful situation? Think back to that moment. You were stressed, a lot was coming down on you, you were feeling anxious. Did you stop? Did you take a deep breath? Because a lot of times we'll be in those tense situations and we'll just to keep ourselves going. And honestly, if you've done that, you've already participated in meditation. I know it seems simplistic, but really when you think about what meditation is and how it helps you, that's really what you're doing. You are taking a giant deep centering breath and you are refocusing yourself. That's all meditation really is, particularly for beginners. One of the things that helped me, particularly when I first started, was to understand that meditation does not shut your brain down. You are still going to have thoughts and that's okay. Your brain doesn't turn off. We don't want it to or we'd be dead. But what we want to be able to do with that moment when those thoughts come in, we don't want to attach to them. We want to just send them off on their way. All right, sounds good, bye. You are sitting there, you are trying to meditate and oh, I need to go get, oh no, I, okay, let's focus again. All right, and then you breathe again, okay. And then you remember, oh, I need to get the oil changed on my car. Uh, okay, all right, and then we breathe again. One of the easiest ways for me was to count my breaths or to say to myself, breathing in, breathing out. Thich Nhat Hanh, he is a Buddhist monk and author, has a beautiful meditation and Buddhism center in France called the Plum Village. He has written numerous books about meditation and emotions. And one of the things that he does when he is meditating, breathing in, I clear my mind, breathing out, I smile. And it is a great way to think about things that you want to accomplish while you are meditating. So for me, I love breathing in, I clear my mind, breathing out, I smile. And I just say that to myself in my head, or I'll just say breathing in, breathing out, or one, two, one, two, or count your in breaths. One, one, two, two. These are great ways to practice, but what you will notice is, is as you are focusing on what number breath you're on, breathing in or breathing out, breathing in and clearing your mind and breathing out and smiling, you don't have a lot of time to think about the other thoughts that come into your head. And when they do interrupt, all you have to do is start again. 
Breathing in, I clear my mind. Breathing out, I smile. It's very simple. And you don't have to do it for long. Start with two to three minutes, then move to five minutes, then try for 10 minutes. And you may sit down one day and say, I'm gonna do 20 minutes, I've been doing so good. And five minutes of concentration is all you can handle. There is nothing wrong with that. That is okay. Then you can get up and either try again later or wait until the next day. But we are seeing more and more science and research come forward that says meditation truly does help us both physically and mentally. It has truly helped my depression and my anxiety. It has given me ways to deal with those as they come up so I can sit and take those breaths and take a couple of minutes. It may not completely get rid of depression and anxiety for me, but it definitely tames that inner beast that is calling that depression and anxiety forward. It gives me a way to refocus and recenter and push those annoying thoughts out of my mind. And again, it is so simple. Try it with me. Breathing in, I clear my mind. Breathing out, I smile. Breathing in, I clear my mind. Breathing out, I smile. Different meditation teachers will have you do it different ways. Some will tell you to be seated on a cushion the way I am now. Some will say you can just sit in a chair with your feet flat on the floor. Some will tell you you can lay down. You can open your eyes or close your eyes, whatever's going to limit distractions. You can even go out and take a walking meditation. Writing can be your meditation, but you have to know where your focus is. So the first step is learn the breathing. Learn the focus. If you're too fidgety, because sometimes I would find, oh my gosh, I'm too fidgety, I can't sit still, I'll go for a walk. And as you walk, think about the steps. Count your steps. Step one, step two, left foot, right foot. Whatever keeps your mind centered in the moment and not thinking about what happened in the past, what happened in the future, do I look silly, it doesn't matter. If it helps you, who cares? That's the key point there. But what I want you to do is truly focus. So try it for a week. See how it goes. Add it to the sleeping challenge I gave you in the last video. Do it right before bed or do it right before you leave bed in the mornings. Whatever is best for you. Right before your morning coffee, right before you read the newspapers, before you put your email into play and start checking all the things at work, do your meditation. I guarantee you it'll be a lot easier to step into your work day. Before other people demand your attention, take some time for you. Do a little bit of meditation. Remember, it only has to be about five minutes. You don't have to sit there for 30, 40, 50 minutes. You can do what it takes for you. And I guarantee you, if you do it every day for a little while, you're gonna wanna do it every day going forward. Thank you so much for joining me on this week's Moment with Matthew. Hopefully you got a lot out of our sleep schedule from the last video and from this one about meditation. Do try it, see how it goes. Let me know how you're doing in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, please click that like button. And again, don't forget to comment and tell me how you did on your meditation. Did you make it five minutes? Did you make it 10 minutes? How did you do? And do click that subscribe and the bell so that you are notified when the next moment with Matthew is released. And I will see you very soon.